Hello and welcome to the Slippy Limits video. Today I've been left to my own devices, so I've been trawling through Navionics and doing my usual thing, trying to find some marks, and I'm hoping that I found a decent one down here. I think it's about a mile and a half walk, uh, and hopefully we might get some bass, brass, pollock. Probably pollock and uh, <laughs> pollock and uh, brass, given that it's daylight. So yeah, let's get down there. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I've uh, got here and well, got to the area that I want to fish, and the particular rock that I wanted to get on is uh, is, is occupied, which is fine. Just shows that I'm in the right sort of area, but obviously not a uh, very uh, lesser known spot potentially. Um, but. There's loads of little rock outcrops and things to go at and the ground looks the ground looks really good. Um, really kelpy, nice sandy bits on the outside. The wind's coming directly into this point which isn't ideal. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna start on this little rock down here with the winds coming across and I'll cast out that way. Let's see if we can get away down. That looks great. Come on, hope there's a fish around. Down down the mark now, I'm all set up. Got a quite a heavy rod really, but it's uh, it's because I brought it for the boat, so it's um, 15 to 50 grams, uh, 12 pound braid or 0.6 PE. Um, ground looks really mixed, there's some sand a little bit further out interspersed with um, little, I don't know the Australians call them bombies, but rocks covered in weed and things and some deep gullies and holes here. So I'm going to start off with a fish minnow in this, I don't know what the colour is, silver and uh, glittery with purple underside and uh, just cast around, start fanning and finding the deep holes and see if I can find any fish which is the name of game of fishing, I guess. Um, the tide is heading out. Uh, I think it's been going down for about two hours, so we've got plenty of ebb left to go. This little rock precipice that I'm about to fish off looks like it just keeps on going, so yeah, we could just follow the tide down, but if the wind's a bit strong, then I might just uh, head round the corner and see what's around there. It is nearly three o'clock, so I've only got a few hours to fish. Uh, I was too busy prepping and things for tomorrow and getting bait and spending lots of money in uh, lizard bait and tackle. So uh, yeah, enough talking, let's get casting. There we go, first cast. Oh, wind's really pulling that to the left. Really protected by this big rock here, but uh, obviously when I pa cast past it, that's not the case.
I've got a fish on in my first cast. What is it? Oh, it's a nice rust. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Well, would you believe it? Got a slippery rust on my first cast. Oh. <laughs> and it's away. God, I need to learn how to hold those things. They're so slippery. I, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. <laughs> Mint. Gotta love Cornwall. Don't know what else to say. Mint. Oh, <laughs> something smashed it there. Well, let's say something, I know what it was. It's obviously a ras. There's like two really big deep holes and a really deep gully out there. And we cast over it and brought it over the top of it and sunk down. And as soon as I got into the gully, I got a hit. Try that again. Good solid funk that one. Loads of bait fish in the water as well. The water is crystal. I'm not used to fishing in such shallow water for um, for these fish. Stuff I fish at home is like well, anywhere between six and twenty meters. This must be three. Over the gully now, let's a little bit of line out and see. Let it sink in. No. Not that time. Get under this rock and pass parallel. Parallel? <laughs> parallel to the gully see the bow in my line I've literally got no sensitivity can't feel my lure so I'm just watching the line for any sort of sudden movements or tightening up bit of a pain but I can live with it along the edge here. Chop the tail off my lure there. That was a real rapid pecking. Yeah, <laughs> pulled so hard it's taken the glue off the body. Let's try this furthest hole. This is the start of that gully I was talking about. Oh, plunk it right in. Good follow. Yeah, look, there's one following it. Yeah, I don't know you can't see, <laughs> but I can't help seeing it. Yeah, he just followed it and then went down into there. I'm ruined this lure now. Right in the kelp. Hey. Oh. 
Oh, look at that bad boy. It's like a goldfish. So I've been peppering this gully, casting around for ages really. And uh, yeah, pulled this one out of just literally underarm cast into a uh, sort of long gully here. I was going to go and fish a rock over there so I could fish all across it, but I'm just constantly going over the gully and getting uh, hit. And this time I managed to connect with this goldfish. Oh. Yeah, look. Let's get it back. Second. One fella, away you go. Yeah. <laughs> that little thing absolutely obliterated my lure. Hooks come off, ripped out through the side of the body. Oh, it's my last one of that colour, typically. Colour? Sound like I've been in Cornwall too long. Right, I've put a new body on. I've never, I haven't done this for ages, so it took us age. <laughs> oh, quite a while to figure out how to thread the body on. Oh, out of practice for this. Uh, I found this one in my bag. This one's called Sexy Brown. Don't normally remember colors, but for some reason, I'm gonna remember that one. Oh, the wind's really picked up now. There's white caps. There's a likely little gully there. Oh, not there. Not there either. Come on, Numpty. That's it. Right between those two rocks. Nope. Good little rattle there. So that is the best one of the day. Best one of the day by a long way. We're just smashing it on the drop. Didn't know whether it was just a colour, but B. Come on, son. You can do it. Anyway, it goes. 
Well, it seems like a little rough honey hole, this. Well, <clears throat> vast majority of these fish seem to be coming from a similar area, which is the gully running straight out. Right, a slightly different angle into the wind there. It's like a load of rock that kind of goes out around, covered in weed and then sand on the edge. And with this angle, I can kind of pull along the edge of the rock. I'm wondering if there might be another rass or two living in there. Oh, yep, there was one. <laughs> oh, cheeky little git. <laughs> well, I was right about a ras living in there. It's taking the bloody tail. <laughs> Must have just been hanging on to it. Chomping through the bodies here. But uh, yeah, at least I'm finding some fish. I've not got much longer left, really. Um, I've got to go and pick up some things and prep for... Uh, for an early start tomorrow so I'm gonna put a different lure on maybe try and get one more fish and then head back two bodies down let's see what we've got left yeah that one's ruined anyway yeah we'll use that up let's go and try and get my tail back <laughs> right so I just cast into the wind Right along that edge. Well, oh, it's probably too far. Let's get me line on the water and see if we can bring it back along. Well, I've been trucking this round for a wee while now, when the, the old faithful's just not working. Doesn't seem like khaki, unless it's because it's ruined, but. Action still seems good. In fact, it's got more wobble than, uh, than it used to. Let's try some different angles. I have one more cast. Those guys have stopped fishing into this base. I'm going to blast it. And cover some water for my last cast. Make it a good one. Just about a pull over the little boulder in the middle there and it's just about to drop into the gully of fish. Which doesn't seem to hold any more fish. It might do. It's just I got weed attached to my uh, I had some weed attached to my my lure means I'm gonna have to have one more cast. Where shall I go? There. Shame I have to leave the wind's dying down nicely. Well, that was almost the last cast fish. Annihilated me lower. Still got the tail at least. I'm gonna have to have another. Be rude not to. Did I say that was my last cast? I think I did.
Oh, oh it's a stonker. Stonker. <laughs> fighting hard. Oh, I stopped fighting. Tread and water. Oh, he's got a bit of a scar on his back. Right, let's get you out, mate. Thanks very much. Oh. It's a fatty. It's also had a bit of a tough life. Big scar on its back. Yeah, he's had a good hard life this one. Let's get him back. Straight away down to the depths. Well, what a spot. What a find. That was, uh, that was really good. I've only been here, what, three hours, including my walk down. Uh, I think I've had five fish. It's, uh, <laughs> Is Cornwall always like this? I mean, this is my first real sh uh, shore fishing, lure fishing session off the shore. And uh, yeah, either I've been really lucky or, uh, oh yeah, Cornwall is like this. I don't know, I guess I've got to do more of it to find out. Simple lift and draw technique, slow, slow lift and draw, bouncing through all the thick kelp and bladderwrack and spaghetti weed and uh, all the fish hit on the drop. Not one lifted on, a uh, bit on the retrieve. Oh, there's a helicopter coming. Better make this quick. Uh, yeah, not one hit on the retrieve, so uh, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, tight lines until the next one. Only got GoPro audio on that last fish, Nathan. Stupid mother can't even turn a microphone on. <laughs>